Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this really cute two-toned mini tote bag. So let's go! The finished dimensions of this little bag are about 8 inches tall and 6 inches wide. So let me show you the supplies that you need. To make the cute mini tote bag, we are going to be piecing together two small pieces of fabric to create this two-toned look. The top piece of fabric is five and a quarter inches tall and 13 and a half inches wide. And the bottom piece of fabric is four and three quarters inch tall, 13 and a half inches wide. All of these numbers are going to be in the description below this video. And you could absolutely adjust the sizes to the scraps that you have laying around. The bag is lined with two pieces of fabric that are both eight inches tall and six inches wide. Again, I used um, some of my scraps to create the inner pieces, but use whatever you have. The straps come together with two pieces of fabric that are 12 inches long and two inches wide. I also added a little decorative loop. So this is just a little three inch scrap of strap fabric. I, put, I think I created this with a three by two inch rectangle. And then I also like to add a little no trace tag to my bags. I made my straps first and the way I did that, I folded the 12 by two um, pieces of fabric in half lengthwise with the right sides together and stitched them with a quarter inch seam allowance. I took a safety pin and I find that the bigger the safety pin, the easier. Pinned it to one side of the long tube that I sewed and then I just um, pushed the safety pin through the tube to turn the tubes right side out. I did this for both of the straps. I then took a moment to roll out the hems on my straps so that they would lay a little bit more flat and then I pressed both of the straps with the iron so that they were flat and ready to be top stitched. I top stitched my straps um, with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance on, on both sides just to give it a little bit more polished look. In order to make the outside panels of my cute little tote bag, I placed the two long um, strips of fabric with the right sides together and then I pinned them along the bottom edge. Over at the sewing machine, I sewed these two pieces together with a half inch seam allowance and I also made sure to do a back stitch at the beginning and the end of my stitches. After I finished sewing these together, I took them to my little ironing mat and I pressed that seam open so that it would lay nice and flat and then I pressed it on the front as well. I folded the outer panel in half and pressed it along the center with my finger to create a crease so that I could use that crease to cut the outer panel into two pieces. I made sure that the seams between the two different fabrics were lined up nicely with each other and I pinned on the sides so that they would stay lined up. I also added a no trace tag two inches from the top edge and a decorative loop two inches from the bottom edge. Those steps are definitely optional. And then I added a few more pins in place so that I could take these two panels over to the sewing machine. I sewed the two outer panel pieces together using a half inch seam allowance and I made sure to uh, do a little back stitch at the start of my seam and at the end of my seam. I also sewed the two inner pieces of fabric together with the right sides together using a half inch seam allowance. I turned the outer panels right side out, pushed out those corners, and then I put the outer part of the bag inside the inner part of the bag 
so that the right sides of the outside are touching the right sides of the inside. And then I looked at the seams along the sides and lined them up with each other and put a pin to hold them in place. To get the straps in place, I took one strap, folded it in half, and put the folded loop facing down into the bag, but just in between one inner layer and one outer layer. And then I um, made sure that the strap was coming out of the bag at about one and a half inches away from the side seam on both sides of the bag and I put a pin to hold the strap in place. And I usually let my straps stick out about a half inch so that I make sure I really catch them in my seams. Um, and I just flipped the bag over and did the same thing between the other two layers of the bag and pinned those in place. Once all the straps were pinned in place, I took the bag to the machine and I sewed along the top edge with a half inch seam allowance, I made sure to sew over each of the straps a few times so that they'd be really sturdy. And I also made sure to leave an opening um, on the side of the bag so I could turn the whole thing right side out in the next step. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts. So I reached in through the opening in the seam and I turned the whole bag right side out and I pushed the liner fabric down into the bag. And then I took a moment and kind of rolled the um, hem along the top edge to try to get it to lay nice and flat for the next step, which is just about the last step. Hey, if you're still watching, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hopefully you're getting some value out of it uh, in the Almost last step here, I top stitched all around the top edge with about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And I especially made sure that the opening um, was closed up nicely. And I did a little bit of a back stitch at the end as well. Okay, last step, just take a moment and trim off any loose threads from your bag. The bag is done. Hey, if you like making mini tote bags, I'm gonna to link to another video right here that walks you through another very cute mini tote bag design. Also, if you like using your fabric scraps and sewing in a eco-friendly way, we have a Facebook group called the Zero Waste Sewing and Crafting Facebook group. The link is below this video. I'd love for you to join and connect over there.